Um, Saz, as we look at the market reaction, the sort of back and forth here, I, I'm reminded, of course, that we're, we're getting very close to the holidays. And so the closer we get, the thinner volume gets, the more people are away already. So that's just something as the backdrop for this sort of seesaw in the markets and reaction to these Omicron headlines to keep in mind. Uh, but there is also the idea of how it continues to hit corporate America. And I think one of the latest examples is the Consumer Electronics Show, which had been planning on a sort of hybrid in-person virtual approach. Now looks like it's going to be largely, if not entirely hybrid, because a lot of companies have been pulling out. Yeah, uh, we see uh, Meta or Facebook uh, pulling out. Uh, they they were announcing that too as well. T-Mobile, our friends there, uh, Mike, CEO Mike Sievert was supposed to give uh, the keynote address at CS. They have pulled out. He will not give that address. You see some of the other names up there that have scaled back uh, those attending. I mean, but Google, they, those some other companies will, of course, still have a presence there, uh, Julie. But again, this is just uh, the, really the past two weeks. We've seen a lot of events canceled. We've covered the sports angle. Sports events been canceled. Concerts. You had the J.P. Morgan Healthcare Conference that has been shelved as well uh, in terms of in person. So this is a, this is a new reality we're we're living in uh, going into the new year. Yeah, and I think there's, there remains a lot of confusion um, on the part of regular Americans and the part of everyone, really. Um, and that is contributing to some of the confusion in markets as well. We're going to, by the way, talk to Dr. Amesha Dalja of the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security a, a little bit later on. Um, but I think there have been a lot of questions over the past few days about the communication coming from the federal government, not just the administration, but the CDC and uh, even Dr. Fauci himself, who has been making some new comments about the necessity or lack thereof of quarantining if one is vaccinated, even though we know that the Omicron variant has been spreading even among the vaccinated. So there's it seems as though that is now bleeding over not only into public life and this idea of COVID fatigue, which was already setting in and now is resurgent with this latest uh, variant, but also in corporate planning and in the markets that people just aren't really sure. There's this uncertainty once again that has come into folks' calculations. And added to that uncertainty perhaps is not just what our administration is doing, but then you get reports out of Israel that they're now recommending a fourth shot of vaccines. Uh, and I think that just makes Saz, the situation just highly confusing. And all this confusion, uh, you're right on, Julie, uh, it is re being reflected in the market. One day, you, I mean, you're, you're up 500 points in the Dow. Next day, you're down 500 points and the rally's back on, but then it ends the next day. And well, where do you go? I mean, do you go out there and buy some of these FANG stocks like a Netflix down 11 percent over the past month? Who knows? I mean, where, where does the Federal Reserve stand right now uh, as, uh, you know, as this Omicron variant continues to rage on? How does that impact their Fed policy decisions? And also keep in mind, we, we are supposed to be normally going into the Santa Claus rally. That's the last nine trading days of the month. And going back to 1928, uh, the market has rallied 77 percent of the times in those last nine trading days of the session. Uh, and as people have called it, of course, is in fact that Santa Claus rally. So it's it's unclear if we will even get that. So uh, what we can look to perhaps are some ind early indications of demand for stuff that requires you to be in a space with a bunch of other people, right? And so you can look to restaurant reservations, which is something that you flagged earlier in the week, Saz. They're trending lower a little bit, but not seeing not falling off a cliff, for example. We have been getting sort of localized reports of restaurants being closed in some cases because staffers are sick. So will they reopen then once folks are well again? Will people just wait until the new year to open up? We'll have to see, but that's not showing a drop off. We can look at TSA um, checkpoint travel data as well. I mean, obviously a lot of folks are gonna be traveling during the holiday season. We haven't yet seen a drop off there, but this is the sort of real time data that we can continue to monitor as we try to figure out what is the actual effect of this. Um, and by the way, we're gonna be getting consumer confidence numbers coming out at 10 a.m. So that will also give us a temperature reading, if you will, on how consumers are feeling right now.